Ui. 27 seconds of theme music. Couldn't you have shaved it down to three like regular show? Look, I get you changed the title card for certain dramatic purposes, but I'm still sending you for giving me, and I'm sure a ton of others, certain heart attacks. I came to watch a wedding slash invasion, not a horror movie. Mom was a diamond who invaded Earth, saw its beauty and its worth. Now singing. Look, there's a lot of contradictions in the first few lines of this song alone, but did no one else notice that Steven's mirrored reflection is showing the opposite side? Unless we are looking at Steven from behind the mirror, which I'm sure we're not, that shaving cream should be clearly reflecting off the right side of the mirror. Ha! Looks like Garnet was right. That razor did end up coming in handy in the future. Gah! Where did Shadow go? That flower obviously did not come from that box. There's an awful lot of awful things we could be thinking of But for just one day, let's only think about love Okay, cute song, really is But there's only so many times I can stomach the word love So I'm just gonna add all the sins here now for every time he says it and move on You know I've been hoping About what? That everything's better now, everything's out in the open Rhyming open with open? Ismet, is that what you're wearing to the wedding? It's the nicest thing I own. Looking sharp. That's the most obvious joke anyone could have ever made in that moment. Come on, Steven, I expect more from you. This pit should clearly be filled up with water by now if this open water pipe is to be believed, because Lapis has been gone from Earth for at least two weeks to a month. I'd also mentioned the missing mini pool that was made for Lapis, but let's do things one scene at a time. Okay, so in this scene, we clearly see Parada's dress blowing to the left, but in the next scene, we see it sticking out to her right, and then after, we see it blowing to the right along with the grass. What kind of temperamental wind current is this? Steven goes from holding Parada's left hand to her right, which would make them running like this near impossible. What the hell could Bismuth possibly be doing up there in Steven's room? Although, when you think about this, this whole house is Steven's room, so... Never mind. Still sitting this, though. Just one day, let's only think about Steven went to the school of Adam Levine singing in Falsetto Academy. Oh. Cute, but Sapphire's gemstone is missing. Really? Greg, Pearl, and Steven couldn't spring for new suits? Or Ruby and Sapphire's wedding, no less? But reused their old suits from Mr. Greg? Psh, and they say Greg is rich. Paradise Flower Basket goes missing for some scenes. Haha, <laughs> cool representation of bridal cool feet. Also, Mazel Tov. Okay, I want to know what kind of wizard powers Greg has to be playing the guitar without actually playing the guitar. Flowers for you! Flowers for you! Flowers for you! <laughs> Wedding assault. Gosh, Ruby, cover up that skin. This is a kid's show. Next you're gonna show us a gay wedding. Oh... Is it just me, or does Yellowtail look slightly more like a normal-sized human in this scene? Fireball. What did you do to my pumpkin? His eyes are hollowed out. I knew he looked weird. Ah! None of us been abducted. Now don't panic. She was clearly seen not too long ago. She has short legs, so she couldn't have gone far. Also, Kiki is clearly seen sitting on the inside in the scene. But in the next, she's sitting on the outside. Whoa, I came for a wedding. Did not expect a magic show as well. Steven changed bow ties quick, but swiftly changed it back in no time flat so as not to upstage the groom. Um, bride. Bridegroom? I know this is all kind of silly. I mean, we've been together for 5,750 years. And eight months. Ha, me. Bismuth in this scene is the collective fandom after these episodes. Another sweet moment, honestly, I'd hate to ruin it, but Sapphire's gemstone is turned just a little bit to the right. Check for yourself. What's really impressive here is a 14-year-old officiating a wedding, even though a bill was introduced in legislature to set the minimum age of wedding officiants to 18. Such a beautiful moment, but Garnet's neck is missing. Great reception, Garnet was able to change from a full ball garnet dress to a parted one with pants so freaking quick. 
<laughs> nice try, but no. That bouquet is no longer in our hemisphere, and for it to move that fast requires it to break the sound barrier and create a sonic boom. So I'm calling bullshit here. Really, Jenny? You wore that to a wedding? Attention, hog! Scene does not contain a lap dance. Scene really doesn't contain a lap dance. Yellowtail is back to abnormal human size. So is Onion an overgrown toddler or an undergrown child? Peridot is clearly onto him or hates the fact that Vidalia is having a who wore a better hairstyle moment with her. Correct answer, Vidalia. I ship it. But wait, Bismuth was just with Ronaldo one second ago. Nice try, Riders. Great comedic timing, but if that thing went as high as it did, then it would have fallen down to earth in a fiery death ball, not land softly on Bismuth's head perfectly intact. It's the diamond! No, really? I thought it was a Sneeple. Connie's parents just run away and left their 13 year old daughter behind. I know she told them she's been training and doing gem stuff, but after her going missing on Jungle Moon, you'd think her Asian parents would be hauling her ass with them as they run for cover. I like how the diamonds came straight to earth, but the coincidence of them landing right here above the crystal temple is too coincidental. Remember, Lapis was the one who told Jasper and Peridot where their base was, and all three more or less got stuck on earth, and Aquamarine and Topaz never came to the temple so they don't know that their base is there. So how then did the diamonds know just where to arrive? They could have gone somewhere else and tried to wake up the cluster but plot I guess. So you're telling me while Steven was briefing Bismuth about Rose being pink diamond, he happened to forget to mention the cluster as well? I'm not sure this is gonna work but then it works cliche. I really wish PD left Ronaldo alone here, I'm just curious to see what he'd actually have done. Cross-eyed diamond. Sudden sword is sudden, but I guess she had it on her the whole time, but I'm still sinning cause in the next shot her cease is missing. Wait! There's no reason to fight! Let me talk to her. Steven thinks talking to her will work. Cool shot, but Alexandra is not wearing any wedding attire and we know this fusion is made up of three suits and a wedding dress. Blue Diamond's outfit goes from a cloak to a robe to a gown with no explanation whatsoever. Good job, Blue. You destroyed your only real link to Pink's alleged murder weapon. Okay, I know Steven said you could drop the barn on the beach, but he didn't mean it so literally, Lapis. Did anyone else forget that there was a bubble gem in that barn? Blue Diamond's real secret power is turning her gemstone from that of a diamond to a lapis lazuli gem. Either Blue Diamond's second wave of sadness is stronger that it affects humans but not animals, or the animators forgot Connie was not a gem for a second. Regardless, thanks to this scene, people are now theorizing that Connie might be part gem now cause she fuses with Steven. So thanks a lot. I've felt worse. Pearl's weapon goes from a trident to a spear and back to a trident again. Such a versatile weapon. Lapis appears and disappears between shots that I'm almost certain the writers forgot to tell the animators that Lapis came back. Plus five scenes for all the time she went missing. This fight scene is so intense that Blue Diamond changes eye colors. Garnet and Bismuth barely graze Blue Diamond over here. You got guts, Tiny. Let me give you a hand. Sudden lion decapitation is sudden. Some point out that he may be looking down, but a sin nonetheless for scaring countless children. Wait a minute. Garnet is clearly seen jumping before Connie and Lion, but attacks after they do. Even though the attack would have been much more effective if Garnet had gone first, Blue would have surely tripped backwards. So the cluster clearly throws Yellow Diamond's ship on top of Blue's, but in the closing credits, Blue Diamond's ship is on top. I really need to learn this show's magic tricks. I'd kill on Broadway and in Vegas. The house! Don't worry, I can fix it. My dad! <laughs> I'd remove more scenes if he actually got injured. Pumpkin is a pumpkin in this scene. I do not ship it. Back off, ho. Paradox is amethyst, I say. This was my mother's exact same reaction when I told her I did not want to become a doctor. They just had to drag Goku into this, didn't they? Also, Paradox dress and shoes don't fall off in this scene. We know she can't shapeshift, so these clothes are external. So how then? 
This is obviously gonna haunt some kids' nightmares. Where, where are you? How are you two? I'm not sure, but I think it's a classic psychic ghost type situation. Uh, of course. Hell no, you ain't just glossing over this new power with ghost mumbo jumbo. Minus four sins for every gem getting their time to shine with this one cheap scene. Blue and yellow diamond aren't translucent in this shot. Different font. Rudy. Nenefoa. You will be broken for this. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. It took me a lot longer than I wanted it to to make. I know there's a ton of other things I could have reviewed and I'm sure there's a bunch of you who are going to comment that in the comment section down below. But can you please just appreciate this thing that I made? I really liked it. I really liked how it turned out. And tell me what you thought. There was a lot of things apparently that flew over our heads that just went under the radar in this episode. Like there's a lot wrong with it. But... I finally understand why Jeremy does cinema sense. It's fun to sometimes find what's wrong with an episode you really like. And please don't think this video is me hating on the episode or me not liking it. I love this episode. I loved making this video and I liked finding the little things I completely miss because of how much I loved it. And I hope you enjoyed this video as well. But yeah, I'm just gonna end things here. Oh yeah, I have a merch store now. In case you were wondering, I actually made it for people who like Miraculous, but then I made a Steven Universe t-shirt and people like that. So if you want it, there you go. But yeah, thanks so much, so much for clicking to watch. But with that being said, this is TVC, signing out.